Yeah, it's one of those days. One of those days when you wake up, you get inside your car, you turn it on, you realize there's an ABS light hanging out on your dashboard. Now you gotta deal with it. So, uh, I just want to show you what I'm doing to uh, fix this problem that I'm having. Wait a minute. Okay. This is my uh, 2004 uh, BMW 530i. What I did is I took it to the shop, they plugged this fancy uh, code reader in, and they told me... Oh, hi. How you doing? And, uh, and they told me that I have uh, a bad ABS sensor, the one that's on the passenger side, the front. So, uh, I went to BMW, and I asked them for uh, an ABS sensor, and they told me it's about 85 bucks. I looked up on eBay and uh, it's only 20 bucks. Yeah. So, uh, I bought one off of eBay. This is what it looks like. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to locate the ABS sensor, how to clean it, and maybe cleaning will help. So, let's do it. Shall we? Now, if you want to clean your ABS sensor, you don't have to take off the, the rims. You can keep them on, just gonna get one of those ramps, and drive your car on top of them. This should give you enough clearance, you know, to crawl onto, under the car. And once you do that, uh, just crawl under the car and you'll find the ABS sensor is right there. Yep, that's it. And if you follow this cable, it goes all the way to a box, a plastic box on the top. That's the end. That's where it connects to. And it's just basically a plastic box and uh, you open it up and um, you just plug the new one in. It's uh, easy and simple. I'm surprised actually they made it that simple on BMW. They're usually really complicated. I mean, you know, but whatever. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this one apart, take the one on the other side apart, clean them both, and uh, let's see if that removes the codes. And actually, while I'm down here, I just realized that I have a busted uh, sway, sway bar link. Awesome. Just more money to spend on this car. Okay, that's, uh, uh, damn it, I'll deal with this later. Anyway, back to the ABS sensor. Let's do this. I've already loosened that one up, so they're usually a little bit tighter. There we go, that's better. Slide that one out. It should come right out. It looks dirty to me, so let's get it cleaned. What I'm using is a brake cleaner. And uh, just a clean rag. I'm using a, an old shirt that I'm not using anymore. So just spray it on the shirt and wipe the, the brake sensor off and you should be good to go. So now that it's nice and clean, I can go ahead and put it back where it belongs. And make sure to use the Allen wrench to tighten it back up. You know, you don't need press too hard so just a little bit should be enough okay we should be good on this side let's move to the other side It should slide right out. Okay, maybe a little push. Okay. Thank you. That one's really dirty. Look at that. Let's go ahead and clean that and uh, see how it looks. Okay. Both are back where they belong, so let's uh, go ahead and start the car. 
So, after cleaning the sensors, let's go ahead and start the car. And no codes. So this actually worked. And uh, what they did before is the I would drive it for a while and it would turn off and then the next day it would turn back on so it could turn back on I'm not sure but if it does I'll just go ahead and replace it so uh, if it happens to you just give that a try you know just try cleaning them up don't let it scare you it's not that complicated say hi hi Bella say hi yeah, she doesn't give a shit. She does not give a shit like that. Okay, that's all I got. See you later.